The song is beginning to really enter. The first time, remember, I was telling you, like, uh, now it's like. So, Lollies. Eh? It's so sick. It's yeah. a very sick song. It makes, gets me emotional. I always oh. want to cry. Oh. Every time I hear Can okay, we get some tissue, guys? Oh, I like the party, yes. but. Oh, okay, I'm also getting terrible. You know, it's just. And so... the fact that you prepared it as well. Oh, guys, I need tissue. <laughs> 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 okay, popular Instagram comedian uh, Miriam, I'm just going to skip her surname, Tauma, has debunked the allegations leveled against her by a filmmaker identified as Ola. One can recall that the comedian, comedian big, was called out by a filmmaker for allegedly doing a sloppy job after she received the sum of uh, 1.5 million naira. Taking to social media, the comedian released a statement from her team, noting mm -hmm. that the allegations made, made against her were false. Uh, and she tweeted, I'm compelled to issue a response based on the untrue and baseless allegations against me. An allegation of such gravity is not what I am allowed, not not what I would allow to slide, as it is completely contrary to the values I uphold in the delivery of my services. <laughs> okay, I remember committed. I remain committed to delivering happiness to all my fans and supporters worldwide. I love you all, and thanks for an overwhelming show of goodwill. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely not her who's typing, right? Uh -uh. That sounded very. I mean, who talks like that? Honestly think, speaking, it sounds like a lawyer. Been a lawyer. Yeah. yeah, it was after she put up, um, you know, the True. court. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean the filing by a lawyer, yeah. so that was after. It kind of gave me like a weird mind twist because <laughs> usually when I see her tweets, I try to like read it as Tauma. I just mm -hmm. do it for fun. Like Every time I voice. see it. Uh -huh. So when I saw that, I was just trying, I was like, uh, this is nah, not this is working. Not I remain duly calm to the services okay. of the. So this is a serious matter. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. But did you get to read the statements? Yes. yes. Mm. Well, I, um, I don't agree with um, Ola when he was like, she did a sloppy job. I follow um, Tauma on Instagram and YouTube and I watch uh, videos countless times. I see the way she um, creates this um, endorsement advertisements for the several brands and it has never failed to impress me because mm. fine you'll be entertained and you still get what she's trying to say at the end yeah. of the day so i don't get where he's saying she made a sloppy work and if she was that terrible i don't think more and more brand and brands would be telling that and t giving out jobs to promote their services so to me i feel like okay maybe after she did the commercial for him he didn't get the amount of um range or audience that he was mm. expecting it to get i think that's the only thing that he's supposed to complain about but she doing a sloppy work i totally disagree even then, about can that she genuinely control mm -hmm. um, how people re would receive it some people would just watch the video and laugh and not actually patronize you so well for me i just um you know i think um we're getting to that point where we're beginning to take um legalities seriously because um regardless of how you want to say you don't agree with ola okay. right that's very defamatory because that's what put food on the table okay. do you understand and the fact that you're not happy with your own delivery of a particular job doesn't mean you should come out and call her out because a lot of people will be scared to even work yeah. with this girl mm -hmm. after seeing your post. Yeah. And that is something you should be concerned about. Now, did you, you didn't give us information on, did you reach out to her? Mm. Did she block you? Mm. Did she stop picking your calls? Did mm -hmm. she yell at you? You know, we, we're entitled to that information if you feel we're entitled to this information. Yeah, okay. So that's the formation of character for me. That mm -hmm. is... Um, it's, it's, um, it's really, it's, it's not a good way to go for Tauma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's just a growing brand. Yes, it might look like, ah, Tauma is big. But yeah, mm -hmm. this is how she's cashing out. Mm -hmm. She's cashing out through advertisement, right? Mm -hmm. Advert placement and 1. stuff 5, like that. 1.5, if we have to become comedians I, today, I it's kids. You. It's going to be made funny. Let's today. Cheat time guys, comedy. <laughs> collect? Ha. Mr. Macaroni doesn't chant less than 1.2. And for how many uh, minutes video? Brother Shaggy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, oh, wow. You don't even we're, know we're, we're doing something wrong. No, we are. Yeah. I'm, fu I'm really funny. I'm uh -huh. so funny, guys. Should we do a skip right here? Yeah, let's do a skip. Uh. <laughs> do, 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 do. Play. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you mean your soundtrack? It shows you cannot be funny. What is that? <laughs> You're so not You're impressed. laughing. Please. No, please. We're laughing at you. <laughs> not You're laughing. I, I, that's yeah. also part of the business now, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. To be laughed at. Hey, wait, when this guy... True that, but that's you, I was his name. You laugh at him, please. I made you laugh. Mission accomplished. I'm telling you. Yeah, 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 now, now what? Now, babe, I'm telling you. Now, babe, no one should... If, if they're going to ever laugh, they should drop 500k. 
-hmm. If not, they should ah. hold the laugh or I'm return the laugh I'm, back. I've, 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 I've risen up, like my money's But already. whatever it mm -hmm. is, though, I think um, take a legal cases, you know, to where they're supposed to be okay. is the way to go. It's actually, yes. Vijay Adams, this is how you say it's the future. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I think, I think um, services like comedy and laughs are quite hard to monetize. They're quite hard to, because they're not tangible. You know, my, my boss used to say, like my other boss used to say, we're not selling Google and Aquara here when um, artists start to complain about services mm -hmm. or because when it's a service you're supposed to interact with mm -hmm. and the person that's doing the interaction are the customers it means that me that i'm offering that service can't actually control how my delivery is going to go mm -hmm. right so i make a joke it's kind of like what sydney walker is always trying to claim i don't know if that's true I, i'm biased i don't like the guy but mm -hmm. you know he's always trying to claim that, that sometimes when he is writing his his skits and he's processing it he has good intentions mm -hmm. and he wants it to be funny. But then how you receive it is completely different. Mm -hmm. But if I was selling this cup, I'm selling a cup. The cup is only used for one thing, to drink water. There's no other like mm -hmm. interpretive way of receiving it and how the audience mm -hmm. is going to take it. So I think that business is very tricky. Sure. And then I can imagine that um, when you're talking about social media, where engagement kind of helps your value in terms of like social media market. And that's another thing that you can't control. Okay. I can imagine from Ola's perspective, this has been playing devil's advocate for a bit now, where sometimes you see Tauma's um, uh, uh, skit. skit, and I'm, uh, this has been kind of like contradicting, no, not contradicting, but like opposing what you said a bit, that all her skits are funny. I think sometimes some advertisements are a lot more brilliant than others, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Mm -hmm. I've seen that where, I think it was Toothpaste, I'm not going to mention the brand. Okay. And the way she did that, that, that was the first time I met, I, I bumped into her, it was a YouTube ad. And I was thinking, what? This girl? Because at first I didn't realize it was an ad. Mm -hmm. But she, there's sometimes where it's, it's the first thing you see. She's already talking about the kini and talking about, like, it's look too advertising. If I was the other brand, away from the, the toothpaste brand, I would have felt like there was a disparity in her services because okay. that one was a bit, like, a lot more fantastic than the other. Mm -hmm. But then again, it's the creative space, and I think every creative should understand that. It's not every day that you're going to be hot, hot. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the product that you are marketing helps your creativity. True. So if you're working with a, music, a musician, for example, you wanted to use their song in your skits, it's so easy to infuse that than, let's say, an NGO that is talking about human trafficking. Like, you're not going to be able to be as fun mm -hmm. and get the same engagement as well because yeah. it's your target audience and all of that. So I feel like that's a conversation that her team should have been having with Ola. Like, I, I don't think Ola didn't have a right to feel like her job wasn't, his, her, his, uh, her job that was delivered to him wasn't as up to par as the, the other ones. ones because that's just natural. No, no, even Chicken Republic, not all the rice tastes the same and all the chicken tastes the same. Collect your money from Chicken Republic after this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, um, uh, what's it called? That, that type of, that type of, um, of, a, of complaint to me is really natural. I guess how you handle it is also okay. really important and stuff. Mm -hmm. But either ways, it's, it seems like, in terms of legal aspects, like Ifeo was mentioning, it's something that they're obviously getting a wrap around. Mm -hmm. So we like Tauma, and sure. we would not stand any shaming around Thank here. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, Nigerian rapper Oluwari Waju Ogumefun, alias Vector, seems to know one of the major reasons why people become depressed. The award-winning hip-hop artist revealed via his social media account that the corruption in this country is too much, that the citizens are bound to become depressed. In his words, you may tweet about depression all you want, but if you sell out your people for money, the effect of the corruption you have directly encourages is also a reason why many are depressed if you think about it. But what do I know? Now, a different story if you know, no. Mm. What do you think? Well, well, for me, right, I just feel like for... Vector is actually right. He's getting somewhere with this because a lot of people tend to support um, or they tend to rat out on other people or make it look like you collect money to defame somebody, for instance, mm. right? And then you feel like you can move ahead with it. I believe in a lot of karma. Sometimes what goes around comes around. Now, those same people. Investors are sometimes. Hmm? Yes, yeah, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, the thing is, those same people that you were not there for, yeah. you might mm -hmm. need them someday. And that's just life. That's mm -hmm. just life. 
simple. That's my only yeah. thing. I think the first thing I thought about was, is the, can depression be induced, mm -hmm. or is it an inbuilt thing? I think it oh. can be induced. Or can it be both? I think that's both. the question, because when I thought about that, I thought, but there's two depressed people who are not in like highly corrupt environments mm -hmm. and stuff. So I don't know. Um, I think depression is something that I always try to be very delicate with um, okay. when the conversation is stemming around the fact that it's all external sometimes doesn't really I don't know I don't know how to wrap my head around this conversation mm -hmm. but um, I just want to be careful with the word depression especially since we lost what's his name now the guy the blonde guy that jumped in Todd Milan Bridge we're looking for him for a long time yeah. Bolu mm -hmm. Um, he had, had yeah, yeah. Rest okay. his, man, he's still rest in so peace. Rest but in peace. that was somebody that was very close to my circle. Like okay. my best friend from high school and him were actually neighbors in Margot face mm -hmm. too. So this is somebody that was in my reach and stuff. Like he ha he was probably at, at least comfortable to a, to a, to a, an extent. Like he didn't mm -hmm. beg for food or something. But there was still depression and stuff. And he, from the from the sound of things, he was battling with it as a medical condition. Okay. Either way, my, I don't go, I don't rant. My point is, I don't think even people understand. I don't really understand how this depression thing works. Is it a disease? Because I've seen that many times where they say it's an illness and you need like doctors and, and drugs and all of that to help and, and, and therapists and all of that. So because if, if that's the case, then talking about it like it's an external factor okay. kind of like encourages people to think that they are depressed when they are not. So it's kind of like a conversation I wish and maybe we'll bring it up another episode so that there would be yeah. like another um, expert but to really what, educate what us on, on yeah. that. Like, can you get depressed because of your external environment or was it already inbuilt and then something has to trigger it or is something that can yeah. be cured? It's like, I think you know, maybe we mm -hmm. should just stop it right there and just continue this conversation tomorrow. What do you think? I think we, but well, we can give it a, sh a, a shot. Okay, and I also, I also wanted to ask if you've ever felt like you were depressed. Yes, yes. Mm. I feel it can be self-induced mm. at times. Yeah. At times where you just feel like everything is moving True. mad. Mm. But the truth is, you, you cost it. Mm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. There are certain things that you do that you put yourself into that part where you feel like, oh, I'm really depressed. Yeah. But if you really want the truth, another problem with a lot of people mm -hmm. is failure to tell yourself the truth. Mm. Do you understand? You, if you just look at it like, ah, I'm depressed and then everybody, like you said the mm -hmm. last time, if it's not around your circle, people that know what you're doing, mm -hmm. yeah? And you take it out there. It's people who have empathy mm. or sympathize with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you go to some people who actually tell okay. them, oh, now you call some. I'm but telling wait, you. Some yeah. people make the wrong investment. Okay. You know that this business isn't so good. Mm -hmm. Right? And you go and invest in and they chop your money and you say, yeah. They warned you. Mm. They told you. You still say strong again. Something like that. Mm. I think some people actually use the word depressed when circumstances happen to them, like sure. things you can't control yeah. or you're walking towards something and you can't achieve it. You just use the word depressed. Mm. I feel... Maybe there's me, a different mm, word. It like, be. is it a downtime? Having a downtime, is that the same as actually You can be being... sad and be down. Mm. Or people just use the word depressed. So Because it looks like there's depressed as mm. an expression and then there's depressed as a medical mm. condition. condition. Like, yeah. there's people who are on antidepressants for life. So even when they're happy mm -hmm. and there's no issue, they're still on antidepressants because mm. they are, like, they're clinically... Yeah. That's the word. They're clinically depressed. Um, if, it, if it's in terms of downtime, I think there's periods like that where... Mm -hmm. I think I mentioned it's when it even starts to get physical. Like sometimes you can't eat very much or you lose a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. I have a friend that's like that. Once she's stressed by, you see the waist, flat stomach, like okay. everything sucks in. And then mm -hmm. as soon as she's happy again, she blows up. So, yeah. I mean, there, there's people like that. And like, I'm, I know that there's, there's periods where f things feel really dark mm -hmm. and gloomy. And sometimes you want to get out of that funk, but you can't. True. But then it's not really long lasting mm -hmm. and it kind of bounces back. It's like back a phase well. that will just pass eventually. So, yeah. people should just stop. Um, I just feel we should be careful with the word depressed when yeah. we're using it. I think so too. Mm -hmm. I think so. Careful. But either ways, I think from tea time and all of us, even if you feel like it's a downtime, it's a whatever, the That's attitude someone. to it always would be to seek help and mm -hmm. not you know taking your life or or any or any of that type of stuff i, I want to share something and then i also okay. okay no no go on go on go on go on go okay go 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 okay go. you go oh you go, go. Oh, you go. Oh, you talk oh, to you someone go. anytime you feel <laughs>
Okay. I heard this analogy mm -hmm. about suicide in a, in a movie that I was watching on okay. Netflix and I wanted to share it. Mm -hmm. So the guy was, wanted to save a girl, right? Like she, okay. he saved her and stuff and then she was like in her feelings and just moping around. And then the, she tries to do it again and again and then he stood her and said, he was talking about how he was a soldier and that he was chilling with his friends one time in Afghanistan or whatever. And the guy came into a restaurant with a like a bomb on top of him and stuff mm -hmm. and entered that restaurant and blew up, blew up the place. And that by the time he went back in there, he saw like, you know, body parts everywhere. And there was like a perfect circle around him. And that the closer the people were to the bomber, mm -hmm. the more like destroyed their body, body parts were and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then others, so like six people died and then maybe 19 people injured or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then he said something like, that's how suicide is. Like the closest you are to the person mm -hmm. that killed themselves, the more destroyed that okay. they are. So why do you want to do that to your loved ones mm -hmm. and stuff? And I've never really thought about it like that. Like, you know, it's a hurtful thing. Mm -hmm. So don't do it, okay. basically. Well, it's a nice story. Okay. okay. I just want to emphasize on something. Oh, rounding up. Okay, okay. Because I feel like people, we've moved past this, but I was talking to a friend of mine. I was like, when you're upset, he's a guy. When okay. you're upset and you're down, like, I can't show it that I'm a man. I just want to just emphasize on that, that let's stop using this, um, being a man, like you can't right. express your feelings. Yeah. We, please, express your feelings. We like feelings here. Mm -hmm. you wrapping like, up? Yes, we are Can wrapping I just up. Can say something real quick? Effect. Real quick, real quick, Two real quick. All right, for everyone, if someone tells you they're depressed, don't laugh it off. Don't tell them, come off it. Yeah. Yeah. Just try and listen yes, sometimes. Yes. All you have to do Don't is be listen. a nonsense person. I wish you had more time and to talk more about this because I know this is really delicate, but unfortunately, that is all that we can take today. But thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter at Plus TV Africa. Remember that you can also catch up on all our previous episodes, including this one, in case you came in at a period where you missed all our good gist. Go to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa to find all our exclusive content. You can also watch Tea, um, tea Time on RT TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you out to my co-anchors, my bad, my bad guy squad. Uh, if you follow Shekei and Inyola, thank you so much. And the entire production team. Uh, and Mr. Gubao for it being yeah, your birthday. birthday. Thank you so Happy much. Happy birthday. Alrighty, my name is Ife Omai.